Yo, we back with another reaction, man. It's your boy, Boss Kale Music, man. You know, on this channel, I like to react to some of your favorite YouTubers and influencers. So if that's the content you like, subscribe, 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 right? Quick house rules. I like to go through these videos, give my thoughts and opinions. You can follow along with me. Give me your thoughts, opinions in the comments. Before I press play, I'm giving you two, three seconds to go and hit the subscribe button, man. You got two, three seconds to go and hit that subscribe button before I press play. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another video. Please remember to like. And if you're new here, subscribe. Now, yesterday, I reported about Isha and that she was going off on her Instagram story. And so she did, in fact, got into a fight outside the club. The video is also out. Now, a lot of people are also talking about the fact that Isha is always fighting. But y'all, I do want to hear her views when it comes on to that down in the then she said they they took like three fifty from her. Did y'all find out who took her couple dollars? Or oh, that's why she was squabbling because they took her couple dollars. Comment section below. No, I do want to move on to this next topic with Nisha. No, Nisha posted that she's off for college, and so she's staying close to Debo. She posted on TikTok. Left for college, away from my family, but my man stays by my college, so I'm not alone. And so it seems she decided to go to a college. Oh, that's what's up. She went to a college by him, or he moved near her college. That's what's up, man. You know, they make they making money off being influencers, still going to school. You know, that's what it's about. College in Houston. And so, y'all, let me hear reviews when it comes on to that down in the comment section below. Now, previously, I reported about Marge and Tati, and that Marge was asked which influencer he thinks smells. And so, we had said Tati. And so, Tati had made a TikTok. She also had. Why well, they keep saying, oh, girl, smell, man? Hey. <laughs> hey, so funny with that. Had replied to Marge in the comments. And so, Marge brought up the fact. That Nadi had said that in a video as well, that she felt Tati's pH balance was off. Tati then had said that she spoke to Nadia off camera. Over Marge was on live and he had some more things to say about this whole situation. Yeah. So I'm going to therapy. When I found out about BetterHelp, I was so stoked because I was finally going to be able to find a therapist. Asked me who do I think was the only influencer that smells. I said Tati, and I also gave in a description on why she smelled the way she did. I didn't say that her pH her pH balance was off or anything. All I said was that she just smelled. I didn't even say how she smelled. I just said that she smelled. Um, Tati literally laughed at Kaya when Kaya smelled though, Maj. Oh yeah, when they was all bullying Kaya and stuff. They was all making it seem like Kaya stunk. They said that when when they did that. So why these girls' parents not teaching them how to clean themselves the correct way, bro? Like, what's going on? Why all these little influencers, um, you know what I'm saying? People coming out saying they stink and stunk and all this stuff, man. Like, that's what y'all need to hop on and Google how to, you know, get it back together. That little prank on the couch, they be picking and choosing. So a real go a real person gonna see it, but the supporters, a fanned out person, not gonna really see it. They made fun of that girl when that girl when they said that that girl that that girl pocketbook thing. That's what they did. They made fun of her on a group of them made fun of her on a couch. Um, so all that victimizing, baby, you do shoot, and I'm and I'm not here for it. All that all that feeling sad for her, y'all can go feel sad on that river down that stream. Go cry me a leech, cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna be real. Um, she smells, and and just also let me start off by saying this, cause I'm a real good. Um, anybody that can wear ethicus and PSD on a daily basis in a damn life. And so I do want to hear reviews. Do y'all think Tati? Yeah, that make you sweat. If you wear them, you know. If you know, you know. The ethicals and all that, and and the PSDs, they make you sweat. So, if she wear that every day, then she might do be a little. Um, yeah. It's plain victim, or y'all think Madge was wrong for saying that in a YouTube video? I do want to hear her views. Now, previously, I also had reported about Nadia and JC. And that people were speculating that they may have broken up. Now, a lot of people were commenting that they are still together. And that they aren't broken up. Over Nadia has now confirmed that she's single. She posted on her Instagram story this morning. Single until her love is worth taking a risk for. 
Now she was also on live and people were asking about JC. Now a lot of people were also going at her after she was asked to drink or call Eli. And she had called Eli. I played in the boy face yesterday when I've been single. Um, we kind of already figured that we wasn't going to last. So, yeah, um, I didn't want to. I think she said they ain't going to. They ain't gonna last because they was, you know, their relationship wasn't built on that. It was more, on, you know, they started doing what they was doing and then a relationship was on the back end. So they was like kind of doing what they was doing first and, you know, how that goes. Call the other dude last night because it was so soon and I didn't want to make it seem like we was already, you know what I'm saying? So, um,. That's why I was like, oh my God, like, I don't want to do it. But in reality, I could do whatever I want. He can do whatever he want. Um, being broke up. Not together, not my boyfriend. So all that saying, I'm playing in his face and da-da-da. No, that's not my nigga. I'm not his girl. We still good, though. Like, we're friends, shit, still. But, like... I want to say friends, that's a stretch. We're like cordial, but like we just don't date and that's okay. He, you know, starting his career and I'm trying to start my career. So, it just didn't work out. But we still good, so all that dragon shit we doing. What type of song is that? Who's singing in the background? Y'all tell me who, what song that is. That's some YouTube music or that's somebody actually song? Or was that influencer lifestyle song? Maybe that's her song. Kind of let loose tonight, okay? And I don't got time to be ending up on my own messy match because we want to have fun. So, not tonight, probably tomorrow. I grew up always on the bigger side as a kid. I was always um, slightly thicker, big bone. Yes, we broke up, y'all. Oh my God. Didn't we all see it coming? It's not happening. We just all just thought we was going to last forever. But let's not do too much either. Um, it's still kind of sad to me. So, not to my face. Look, my ex. Watch this game. Oh, was that Nadia's song that was just playing? Whose song was that? That was a nice little song, man. But yeah, Nadia and JC, man, they done, man. Sad song, sad song. Uh, hit the like, subscribe button, man. We out. Another reaction. Appreciate y'all watching.